When we hear the word microcontroller development boards, the first thing that comes in your mind might be Arduino boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro Mini, or ESP8266 boards like NodeMCU, or STM boards like Bluepin. But from January 2021, there is a newcomer to this microcontroller family, and this is Pico the tiny $4 microcontroller development board from the company Raspberry Pi Foundation. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to have a look into the new Raspberry Pi Pico. Also let's see how to upload code to this tiny Pico. Let's get started this video. This is Raspberry Pi Pico which is larger than the Arduino Nano and shows almost similar form factor to Blue Pill. Now let's inspect closely. First you can see the legendary berry logo there, then the square shaped brain of Pico. That is the RP2040 chip developed by Raspberry Pi UK. Then there is a push button, also some SMD components and a micro USB port. In the downside, all pins are marked neatly, but I feel some uncomfortable here because while working with Pico on breadboard, if you want to know the pin name, we need to flip the Pico. You might think we can solve this problem by reverse soldering pins, but in that case, we can adjust the push button. Next, wait, while talking about pins, these pins are castellated. That means we can also mount Pico on the surface of circuit board like this ESP8266 on NodeMCU. Now let's see the specifications of Pico. RP2040 comes with dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor. The maximum speed of this processor is 133 MHz, 2 MB of flash memory, 264 KB of SRAM. It has USB 1.1 with device and host support. And talking about the pins, it has 26 GP IOs and 3 of these pins are analog input. 8 pins are programmable as IO pins. This is one plus point of Pico. 16 pins support PWM. Remember only 6 in Arduino Uno. Pico comes with rich peripheral supports like 2i2c. Yes, we can talk to i2c device simultaneously. This is the next plus point of Pico. Then 2 UART, 2 SPI. Pico comes with an inbuilt temperature sensor to monitor the system temperature. And that sensor located inside the RP2040 chip. And finally, we can program Pico using CPP and MicroPython. It's better to read the complete documentation before doing anything with Pico. Now let's see how to upload code to Raspberry Pi Pico. I already told we have two options that are MicroPython and CPP. Here I am going with Python because CPP program in Pico is little bit tricky for noobs like me. First connect Pico with computer by holding the push button. Now you can see a storage device appeared and you can see two files. Open the index file that will redirect you to the Raspberry Pi website. From there, click getting started with MicroPython. Then download the UF2 file. Then drag and drop that UF2 file to Raspberry Pi. That's it. Now we need a Python IDE. I am going with Tony because Tony is official and easy. For that go to web and search Tony then download and install. After opening Tony, this is the interface of Tony IDE. Click on run then select interpreter. From the coming window select MicroPython for Pico. Also select COM port then click OK. Now we can write program and run also shell is here. If you can write your code, you can do it or go to the Raspberry Pi website and click on MicroPython SDK. From there, copy the blank code and paste it in the Tony IDE. Then I change the blank frequency a little bit. Now save this file as main.py in Raspberry Pi Pico for running this code forever. After saving this, you can see the LED on the Pico is blinking. 
that's it now we can code further here i am reading the internal temperature of rp 2040 you can see everything is working very fine now i am just showing how to display these values on oled so in a nutshell this tiny four dollar microcontroller comes with a rich in spec like dual i square c support programmable io pins etc in my opinion pico is just awesome for beginners and pros in my future videos i will make project with pico so this is a small introduction of pico hope you learned and enjoyed my video if so please like share and subscribe all up to you thanks for watching i will see you next time